What's up everybody, it's Wick here and I'm going to show you my work area. I think this is the third video over the years I've done in my work area. It's evolved some and I always see people, they want to post negative things like um, I can't, I can't resell, I don't have the space or you know they're just always trying to find excuses in my opinion. This is in a small room and um I did recently uh, rent out a garage. I do not have a garage. I live right in the city and um, pay uh, $110 a month for the garage and uh, that helps a lot with the space. But um, yeah, I started in this room 100% and you know I was making a full-time living by using the space in this room. So you just kind of have to utilize your space and I honestly don't do that great of a job utilizing my space but I'm gonna show you here what I got going on um, let's just start in the corner here I got this is I dedicated to my eBay section uh, this shelf right here eventually is gonna be all listed items right now it's about 70 percent listed items on eBay and then uh, I got all these totes on the side that's all eBay stuff and I got this tote down here, which is all going to be listed on eBay. Uh, eBay is kind of a side hustle for me compared to Amazon. So I have been getting into eBay more and been killing it, honestly. So I'm definitely going to keep devoting more time. And it does take more time with eBay. But that's what I got going on there. Just uh, I got still got all those He-Man figures to go through and list and sort and price. Uh, if you remember when I bought those. But uh, yeah, stuff. I'm I'm bad at letting stuff pile up, but I, at the same time, I love having it here because in my mind, it's like I know I always have work to do. I always have money just sitting there waiting to be made um, in case you know there's a rainy day. So um, over here, I got basically this little tote here that has all my immediate work stuff like labels, rubber bands, uh, masking tape, markers, you know, scissors, all that stuff. I got this at Goodwill. They had a bunch of them quick eraser um, these are good to get things off uh, marks off electronics uh, knives in there all that kind of stuff I picked up like this these things are great like honestly anytime you get these tote towers cheap I got this at a garage sale I don't remember what I paid for it but I have like remotes in there AV cables just all kinds of stuff I use <laughs> I got poly bags and a little trash can it's probably gonna be pretty dark can I turn on the light I can I use the poly bags, they're just kind of rolled up in there, and um, I always keep an extra toner cartridge just in case, um, you know, I can't really tell when this one's going to run out, so I always want to have one available. I got the stuff, I grabbed this at Home Depot, they're rolls of like contract paper, they're great for packing paper, and um, I got these at Amazon recently, I think it was like $10, and you get like 32 of these like microfiber terry towels um here's one right here actually and you can rewash them and stuff a great deal these things are so handy definitely suggest having stuff like that got my printer it's just a basic laser printer with a scanner on top uh, it's been working great it's the one i've always been using and uh just my labels labels and paper for printing on ebay and amazon and mail labels paper towels you know goo gone and the Scotty Pillars, which I, I believe are a necessity, tape gun, Dymo printer, which I never use, scanner, which I hardly ever use anymore. Uh, I got a speaker, a little nice speaker system set up. I listen to music with my when I'm doing a shipment. I got a monitor over there so I can do everything, watch YouTube videos or whatever. I got a bunch of batteries there just to use for testing and. Um, this mouse I got thrifting. It was great. Um, it's, it's a mouse that you can control everything by just hovering it in the air like this. It was $5. Uh, it's rechargeable. I can stick it in the recharger base. Um, I love it. I love finding stuff that I can use when I'm out thrifting. Uh, this, I wanted to show you. This desk here is an old computer desk on wheels. I was thinking, you know, I just need to throw this out because it's just sitting out here. But I raised my table with brick here. So it's higher, so I don't have to bend over and hurt my back as much. And then this table ended up fitting right under it. So when I'm doing the shipment, I can just roll it out and put it wherever I want in the room and set boxes on it or whatever. It's super handy. Definitely suggest having a cart 
or table that rolls um, trash can very important you know I got a uh, shrink wrap a bottle of water I use the spray that stuff's actually useful believe it or not uh, so many times I just spray some water on the terry cloth there I can just rub out like electronic dirt and stuff uh, with no problem I got a laptop case down there so if I go on trips uh, I got a little temporary box I have a lot more boxes in the garage and downstairs and a storage little room but I just keep these for immediate eBay shipping but I typically use the free priority boxes anytime I can I got this little TV here for testing electronics this is crucial I just have the AV cables right there so I just set it down I have a little power cord here I can just plug everything in and test it and there's really no stress to doing that definitely handy of course the scale I picked up this on eBay it's like if you're taking pictures of shoes you can you know make it look nicer I also when I take pictures of hats I put it on there little things like this uh, little improvements on your reselling life go a long way uh, definitely if you have some sort of zen going on you get more work done because before it's like oh I gotta list these shoes oh no I can never get the picture right now I got this and it's like ah, it's, it's pretty easy to do testing electronics it's easy to do because I have everything set up and ready to go so it motivates me a bit more I got my camera <laughs> paid six hundred dollars for this I hardly use it because I ended up getting a new phone with a camera it's just easier to do everything on the phone so I might end up selling this, but it is a really nice camera. It's a 4K camera. But uh, I want to use it more for like vlogs and stuff, but we'll see. And of course I got my light set up here, umbrella lights. Oh, I got this nice background. It's just like a fabric sheet. It's one of those Facebook ads that pop up, you know, and they're marketing to you. Like, I don't know if it's Shopify or whatever, but you know, I'm like, I think I paid $11. I'm like, you know what? I'd make a good background. So they had about a hundred different designs to choose from. So, um, yeah, when I take a picture, you know, I just kind of set the item up here. And uh, it gives it a little bit more flavor than just a white background. And uh, I think it looks pretty good for the most part. Over here, I just got a little shelf that I store stuff in. Got my little dummy for clothing, even though I hardly sell. I'm, like, I'm really trying to get away from clothing. I just don't like dealing with it. And uh, this is just filled with stuff that's getting ready to go to FBA in the next shipment. I just kind of keep it here. And this whole shelf right here is kind of stuff that I'm like, oh, I need to send this stuff FBA. So I kind of just throw it on the shelf and then um, go through it when I make a shipment so I don't miss out on things. Here are some uh, tested uh, combo units that did not work. Bottom thing here is like a 320 disc uh, player. That's actually good. I just need to get that um, sold. I make like 300 on that, I think. Yeah, these uh, various problems. What I do is see if I can get to it here. I have the masking tape. Anything that don't work, I just put some masking tape on it and put a little note on what's wrong with it. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with electronic shit like this. I know I could maybe open them up, clean them, and get them to work. It's just not worth my time. I probably didn't pay anywhere over five five to seven dollars each on these so um yeah both of these are the same units so i'm thinking about just lotting them up on ebay as you know damage explain what's wrong with them and charge buyer shipping see if i can't get ten twenty dollars profit get my money back or you know i'll just throw them away or list list them locally just to get rid of them Got a chair and right now it's filled with stuff i'm shipping that's sold on ebay uh, i'm going to have to ship a few more things actually so it's actually been pretty good sales going on back here in the corner i got i keep my boxes for fba my big boxes and my bubble wrap just to keep it out of the way so that's pretty handy this shelf um well mostly it's electronics i went on a huge electronics buying spree last year and i'm still slowly moving them out and i'm still picking them up as i see them so um, they're like too deep back there I, when I do a shipment, I pull out a few, test them, and then um, ship them out. I don't like to have too many of these at the Amazon warehouse because used things can get you bad feedback quick. And I don't want just a flood of bad feedback randomly to come in. So I want to try to control that more. 
And I got a lot of stuff up here I just need to test, uh, possibly buy batteries for or adapters. So, you know, every now and then I go through and grab a few things and uh, take care of that. And down here I just have my priority boxes and stuff. And then over here is just uh, extra FBA stuff. And I have in my garage a lot of extra FBA stuff as well. So, um, yeah, just basically storage. Uh, shelves are very important, just keeping stuff off the floor and piling it up. Have my up here void fill tote. I just keep all my uh, extra bubble wrap and stuff like that in there. So, when I need to fill something, and uh, a lot of games over here are games I'm going to be keeping for myself. And I just, you know, they're just thrown mixed in here. But I have a lot of games that some, some of them I'll wait until Christmas to sell because you get like a 30-40% extra return. Others, like I said, are going to my collection. So just extra stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's uh, my current room right now. Um, seemed like people liked my past videos over the years of, you know, as my room evolved. So I went ahead and just made this video real quick, even though it's turning into about 12 minutes. But, uh, yeah, if you can use a room like this and, you know, I do over a hundred thousand in sales, uh, every year. So that's plenty enough for me to make a living on. And then I have my other side businesses that I do, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I still got my UPS sign. I got a garage sale up there. Uh, just, you know, makes the room a little more cozy. But yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, please hit that like button and uh, support me. This has been Wick. Till next time.